Hello, welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm John Hartung, joined tonight by big game James Worthy, big shot Robert Ori. The Lakers lose their fourth consecutive game as their longest losing streak of the season. They fall under 500 at 16 and, thir or 16 and 17, giving up a season high. 138 mm. points, James. <laughs> Bench points, three-pointers, in the paint, offensive rebounds. That was, I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> what uh, did you call I do. It? A disaster is what it was. Uh, you know, it's raining outside. It's just nasty outside. This, Rob, I don't even have, uh, you know, too many words to, to, to describe how bad of a shape the Lakers are in right now. I mean, we talk about not having everybody together, not having, you know, protocol and all that, but they're just not playing hard basketball. San Antonio, you know, they ran their offense to perfection. How many points off the bench I forget? 60? 60, 69. 69 points off the bench Yeah. to the Lakers 20-something, 20, 20, I don't know. So, uh this team has yet to uh, to find any identity on either end of the court. Offensively, I didn't see one play set run with with fluidity. With I saw a lot of standing around, a lot of you know. I know they're without major players, but man, you got to be able to play hard, uh, eliminate. We talked about points in the paint. They they just couldn't do anything. San Antonio, coach well. Played hard, and when you play the game the way it's supposed to be played, you don't have to be that talented if if if, if the defense is not alert and giving you what uh, they just they just look bad. That's all I can say. You know, we we talked about this before the game. We talked about execution. Yeah. We talked about how well the Spurs execute. They've been doing that for years. Mm -hmm. The one thing Pop is going to have his Spurs do is execute. You might not have the talent. It's going to have a shot. We talk about so many times about making the extra pass, making a defense move, because defense doesn't want to play over maybe five or six seconds nowadays. So that's what the Spurs did. And to see it live and to see how the Spurs ran their pick and roll compared to the Lakers pick and roll, which was pick and roll, pause. Should I pop? Should I roll? Should I stand here? No, you got to be decisive of what you're going to do in a pick and roll. You watch the Spurs, you either pop or you roll. It's no, it's no thinking about it. And that's what you have to do if you're the Lakers, especially when you down this many players. you got to really execute. And we just saw the, the graphic right there. The Spurs hit 18 three-pointers tonight, James. This is the team that came into this game ranking second to last in the NBA in three-pointers made per game. They made 18 tonight and dominated really in every facet of this game, but especially from behind the arc. Well, here's the thing. Uh, if you run your offense the way it's supposed to be run, you, you, you'll make the defense give you something. And I'm sure, I mean, I, I mean Rob knows Popovich more than I do. Popovich came in here knowing exactly what the Lakers' weaknesses were. Stop them. Yeah, but think about the, the Murray, the number one player, they held him in check. But it was the others who came out and just flat out balled out tonight. And you got to try to control that. You, I know it's hard to control every aspect of the game, but you don't let some guy like this and another guy get their career highs. We talked a little bit about it on the pregame show as well, Rob, the, the fact that the Lakers had struggled to have any balance scoring. You look at the Spurs, they have six guys in double figures. The Lakers had LeBron with 36, then you have Russ with 30, only one other guy in double figures. They just didn't get enough contributions from the supporting cast. Yeah, the supporting cast is very important, and I think a lot of times when you have dynamic players like Westbrook and LeBron, they had a tendency to say, okay, you know what, get on my shoulders, I'm going to carry you. But you don't always need that. You got guys that can score. You got guys like Elton, give me an open shot. You got Carmelo, put me in the post. You got THC, put me in the drive. There's certain guys you got to put them in a position to succeed. And so you don't always have to carry the load. I know right there in the third quarter, Westbrook did his thing. He was killing. But you got to have moments. You got to get everybody involved because down the stretch, you know, and I say this and say this a lot, if guys don't shoot the ball, they have a tendency to not play well on the defensive end. And I hate to say that, but it's a lot of guys in this league, their whole game is predicated on if they get a shot. Like James says, they get to touch the ball. That can control how they play the defense. And that's why I'm a big believer. I don't care if you miss a shot. Get your mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. Let me see if you can make it knock down. If you don't shoot it, we don't know if it'll go in. So get your rhythm so that way you be engaged and you play better defense.
I agree, Rob. You know, when, when, you're on, when you've played basketball your whole life and you see that the game is not being played the way it's supposed to be played, the Lakers depended on LeBron James and, and Russell Westbrook tonight. Too much isolation, uh, too much ball dominant, not enough fluidity in the offense when you know you need a shit on the weak side at all. I mean, that is so easy to guard that. So I, I don't know why they haven't figured that out yet. The games that they have, they've had 29, 30 assists. Uh, but they're not going anywhere playing like this against a San Antonio team that may not be that good, but they play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And if you don't match that, they'll make you look bad. Yeah. And yeah. they did. You know what San Antonio reminds me of? They remind me of Princeton in college. Yeah. How they, they might not have the greatest talent, but they would execute you, yep. backdoor you, do back all the little things mm -hmm. to beat you. And think about all the teams they have beat of late. All playoff teams. So they know how to beat teams when it comes time to it. But if they could just take that and apply it, man, they might be three or four C right now. <laughs> <laughs> and there was so much excitement before the game about this being the final game at Staples Center. Rob, you were out there for the halftime. There was a nice celebration there. You have six championship trophies there on the court because six championships have been won by the Lakers at Staples Center. You were there for the very first one. And then this happens. They just weren't able to carry over any of the excitement to, to end the night the right way. Yeah, it was, it was one of those nights. Nice, it was almost like a, a mild celebration, you know, the ending of an era. The Staples Center is no more. And I, and I look back and I think about the Spurs. The Spurs have been a thorn in the <laughs> Lakers uh -huh. side forever. I said it earlier. They ended the Lakers run in the form with a loss. They beat them in the form. And now they ended the Lakers' run to stay was with another loss. Man, if I see Pop right now, I'm going to have to talk to him. But <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where you still got to execute no matter what, what you have on the court. And I know everybody says, okay, they got a lot of guys out because of the protocol. They got AD hurt. But still, though, execution can be done. Execution can be played. Defense can be played hard yes. at all times. But, you know, I, I hate to see that. The end of an era with the Staples Center is gone. Um, I'm going to miss the Staples Center, but hopefully with the new Crypto.com, a new era was started. Think about it. We won a championship the first year at Staples. Hopefully yeah. the Lakers can still do a first championship in crypto. A lot of homework, bro. We got a lot of homework <laughs> to do. Uh, hopefully we can get everybody back and, 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 you know, have a team that can practice a couple times. But until they decide that, you know, they're going to defend – uh, on the defensive end. I don't care who they have offensively. The, the, the dynamic of having a trio, uh, you know, Westbrook and AD, that, that, that no longer works. Not with this team. Because, you know, we just don't have what it takes defensively. And until they can identify that, man, it's going to be a long second half of the season. Well, certainly a long night for the Lakers <laughs> at Staples <laughs> Center. All of us. Let's show you what happens in the final game at Staples. Dwight Howard, fresh off of the health and safety.